I'm just playing it slightly differently just to um, see what it feels like I don't normally open like this in this sense I've um, still got the end game opening process in mind I'm just trying a different pattern it doesn't look too bad actually they've wasted a lot of time pushing these pawns down towards our king area so that's a bit of a plus let's just attack this pawn let's just take it off the board no fancy business let's attack the bishop and let's take the bishop off the board and go for the queen sights of the rook in the corner capture has to take the pawn here now that is the greedy munch part that I wanted to see excellent so let's go here so they're now what a pawn up at the moment two pawns up probably yeah two pawns up this is what I wanted to practice this is what I want to see good 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 so bring the knight through look at his king at the minute yep that's nice let's just bring the knight across moves this knight so he can castle doesn't do any of that at the minute so no problems let's go here spending too much time attacking when their king is still airy and that's working to our favor that's not too bad a problem at all okay let's go and castle I was going to move the bishop but I'll castle first So we've got them thinking with this quirky type opening that we've done well I mean it's they're more quirky than me in a sense I just tried a little bit of a night move yeah loads of attacking going on um, I like the style I like I like that attacking process I do um, but it's got to be of some type of benefit in my eyes you know it's, it's got to be let's attack here because it doesn't have any protection on but it's going to use it to attack the knight again so our knight can just replicate and go back again to the same position yeah it's going to use the same same thing so we could bring our knight across here but I'm not really wanting to do that I'm wanting to do something like this check on the king because the king is airy um, spending all this time attacking and not actually looking after your king there's got to be a downfall somewhere um, I see a pretty picture but I have to do something with my knight first let's bring the knight here I see a pretty picture to gain a higher piece so options between going for a higher piece is there a check on the king I do have a check on the king thank you so I think I'll go with the check first and see if anything else develops from there Is there anything else that can put a check on? Conscious the dark square bishop is being attacked, but we do have access for a higher piece. But I don't want to do too much dancing, and then we actually lose out. So if the rook chased it down, then the king could come here, then we, we lose out. So let's go and take the higher piece. Pawn takes. Rook can come and get a, uh, a nice little knight. So that was a move order thing. Like we said, if we'd have chased the king around, he could have gone here. Then we lose the benefit of being able to take the higher piece. So now we can come down and get another piece off the board. He's got an x-ray through with his bishop, but he's got a check on his king. So his king has to do something. the pawn attack here simple attack and the king can actually capture or he could just use that as a guarder he could just leave the king here <clears throat> so another interesting story you have to try new things out 
but again it, it really is down to what the opponent does how they respond to your opening you could do the most quirkiest opening in the world and if your opponent doesn't reply to it in a, a really strong way then you can still gain advantages from doing the weirdest openings our focus is end game opening so this is how we've got to this position because we focused on the end game taking pieces off the board strategically so that then they end up capitulating and resigning or putting pressure on the king area so again we've achieved both 